two deaths in one session, wow. And both deaths had nothing to do with enemies and everything to do with the damn environment. Right, try again. This time be a bit more cautious. <laughs> Steps, steps, steps. Where was the steps? Where were the steps? There they are. Do I have a ward spell on a quick? Uh, quick spell, no. Uh, restoration. Steadfast ward. Re uh, lesser ward. Greater ward. What's that? Greater ward is 80. And negates up to 80 points of spell damage. It's doing it. It's doing it again. Holy moly! It's deadly as that. Deadly as hell. Right, potions. Healing. And so we die again. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, as you might have just heard a few moments ago, the sound actually, or the recording sound actually cut out. And uh, we lost the uh, recording, the second half, well, the second half, the second half, the final third, I suppose, of the recording for this session. So from here until now, after commentary once again, I don't know, <laughs> I still haven't solved the issue, it seems. Although it's getting a little bit better. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, Try number three to get past that magical post. Now my plan for this time was to actually utilise a potion, a useful potion of resist cold. Once again having to first negotiate our way past the Sabre Cats. Because Fluffy doing the business for us, as he usually does. We continue on. Yeah, so the plan this time round, Elwyn having a little bit of a brainwave, almost as if he'd been here before, a bit of deja vu perhaps, premonition maybe. He uh, had a, an idea to uh, pop a potion of cold resistance and again utilise the, uh, the 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 ward spell, hoping that this time we uh, might make it past the uh, magical ice spitting post and there we go 30% not quite as much as I would have hoped so the elixir gives us 50% for one minute only have one of them but well it's worth it. So we pop the potion, we prepare our ward spell, and hopefully third time's a charm. And look at that. Didn't even cause a stir. Didn't even attack me. I mean, how absolutely bizarre. <laughs> Maybe it sensed that I was resistant to calling it thought, you know what, I'm not going to even bother. Anyway, we get past it unscathed this time. Charred corpse. Signs of things to come. Lost tongue overlook. Fluffy goes nuts because he sees a dragon. The dragon takes off. 
And ding ding ding! We're required to fight once again! This one is an Elder Dragon, so therefore will be very tough to defeat. It's going to be a battle of patience this one, we're not going to take it down quickly, we're not going to take it down swiftly, we're not going to steamroller it, so we just have to ensure we stay alive and just keep whittling away and eventually he will fall. Right, I'll leave you with the music and the battle and I will resume once it's over. There she blows! There's something quite strangely sad and almost cruel about the way that dragons fall and you know they fall from the sky sometimes but this one you know this one was already on the floor when his energy was depleted to a certain point and they start crawling around and they're scrabbling for life it's it's quite harrowing really <laughs> anyway we unlock another word of power Terror, dismay. <sighs> Elwyn putting his face to the rain and taking a breather and ah, feel the power, baby. Right. So we unlock the final piece of the dismay shout. Fear run terror. And the weak shall fear the thoom and flee in terror. Sounds absolutely perfect. Elwyn would love to see people running and fleeing in terror upon his approach. It would be great. And 280 gold pieces as well. Not too bad. So, onwards home. We have accomplished quite a fair bit this session. We've returned the lexicon to Advanced and Zell. And we have unlocked a new word wall power, a word power, a shout, whatever you want to call it, after defeating an Elder Dragon. I think that's enough exploration for one day, so as we become ethereal and fall to our would-be dooms, we're trying to carve a path now back to Riften. Got a dragon burial site as well. But uh, there's one last piece of the puzzle. 
before we completely uh, you know, shut down today and return home. And that is, we want to see the, uh, the, the the shadow stone, the overlook, see the see the beautiful side. And uh, it looks like somebody is wanting to fight with us first. Not a problem. A perfect opportunity, Elwyn thought, to try his new shout. Let's make this man flee in a terror before us. Did it work? No. Now, I, looking back at this now, I'm thinking, did that shout fail because he had a ward up? Or was he too high a level for the shout to work on him? I'm thinking, because he had his ward up, it absorbed the shout. So, uh, we'll certainly be trying that shout again against future enemies. But for now, we have a tough fight with a pyromancer. And he just put Fluffy down without even batting an eye. A little bit worrying here. You know how the saying goes, let's fight fire with fire? Well, Elwyn's taking that literally. Look at that. Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of the stuff. He healed himself with a healing spell and continued to blast Elwyn with fireballs. Elwyn retreats, not in fear, but to get his senses. He needs to focus, he needs to think and plan, and all of this in a split second, of course. So we heal ourselves up, and we begin again. Starting with unrelenting force, take him off his feet and buy us some time. Second of all, he's on the floor, let's paralyse his ass. There we go, and once he's paralysed, let's let Fluffy chop him into oblivion. Fluffy showing a bit of apprehension here. Maybe he's remembering the fact that this pyromancer just blasted him down without batting an eye. So, uh, paralyzing him again and giving swift instruction to Fluffy to get his backside moving. And he promptly listens. Tough fight. All because he has a staff of fireballs. Handy indeed. So we'll take that, certainly, a very useful staff, and we shall uh, have to lighten our loads a little bit. Or, use a filter of strength to give us some extra carry capacity so we can make it back to Riften without having to ditch any more of our loot. So that's what we do, and then uh, we just take a bit of time to enjoy the overlook that we had travelled to see. Nothing too spectacular, I'm afraid, but anyway. I enjoyed the fight with the Pyromancer, Elwyn having to uh, get a little bit tactical on that occasion. But it brought a smile to his face when uh, the Pyromancer was laying dead at his feet. You see, being Archmage is not all about brawn, sometimes you've got to have a bit of brains as well. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Greybeards? The what does he do? He walks around exploring the land. Looting caverns and caves and ancient ruins and then returns to sell his loot and enjoy the peace and tranquility and all he hears is guards such as you mentioning arrows and knees and, and how the College of Winterhold is a disgrace. That's what he does. So if you don't mind, leave me be. I'm going to relax. So here we are once again, back amongst the safety, <laughs> safety of the walls of Riften. As if this place is safe, with the thieves and vagabonds just patrolling the streets on a regular basis. But certainly safer than out there. So as we head back into the Bee and Barb for a day of rest and recuperation, we uh, have something to tell Talon Jay. I'm sure he'll be overly impressed.
with the fact that we have found him three flawless amethysts for his wedding ring. And Elwyn's going to sort of nudge him and say, do you know what? I've got this for you. How about you let me have those lovely concoctions of yours for free as repayment? I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll oblige. It's wearing a dangerous spell. Yeah, I don't think Talon J liked the fact that Fluffy came in as well with us. <laughs> He's gone now, I'm going to panic. And here's his amethyst that I have uh, got for you. I, I, I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. Thank you so much, Blacksmith's Potion. Not quite what Elwyn was after, but as I say... Oops, uh, he will be looking uh, for a slightly more useful reward. And that is free drinks when he re when he wants them. And here is Mercurio. We have lost Carjo, of course, in the last session. We need ourselves a new companion, if only to carry some more loot for us. And uh, Mercurio is here. He must know the local area well enough so that when it comes to the exploration phase of our time here in Riften, where we're going forth and looking for locations that are going to be a benefit to Elwyn, what better man than him to lead us along the right path? Elwyn not usually one for hiring help, but on this occasion, he's going to bite the bullet and do it. It's going to be a temporary companion just for our time here in the rift once we're done here we'll release him and look for somebody more permanent in due course but that will happen tomorrow Ellen's just going to think a little bit further just to confirm if it's going to be the right thing to do and uh, he's going to rest for the day uh, he'll wake up in the early evening some drinks maybe sit down with Mercurio and discuss discuss a proposition with him and uh, see if he's going to be the right man for the job. Some more drinks, some food, and then uh, we'll sleep for the night, wake up tomorrow morning fresh as a daisy, ready for another day's adventure. After selling our loot, of course. So as we shut the doors, another day is done. And for the first time, here in the B&Barb, &Bar, in our private quarters, if you will, this chair sits empty. So we uh, bow our heads and just remember Carjo for the services he provided was for the short time he was with us. Right, so there you go. The end of today's session. Next time we shall be speaking with Mercurio to try and uh, garner his services. And then we shall head out and find out what we're going to do next. So join me for that. See you soon.